everyone, I'm Grace, the nurse with today's Health Tips and Minutes, and I'm filming live and direct from my kitchen. I know, very exciting. Well, uh, I wanted to say Happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm wearing my green scrubs to celebrate this fun, festive day, and I know a lot of you are itching to get out of work so that you can meet up with friends, have a few drinks, and just party it up tonight. Well, I wanted to talk to you about some of the best ways to prevent a hangover because I know uh, some people will unfortunately not be keeping track of how much they drink and will wake up tomorrow with the dreaded hangover. Boo. So before I go, I wanted to tackle some myths about uh, you know how to uh, cure or prevent a hangover. So some people say, hey, you have a hangover, drink some coffee. That actually is not a good idea and it will not cure your hangover. Um, hangovers, unfortunately, a lot of times are uh, caused by dehydration. Drinking coffee, especially caffeinated coffee, will make it pee a lot, but then it will also cause more dehydration. So having, having coffee after a night of drinking, just not a good idea, and trust me, it will not cure your hangover. Also, I've read on uh, the internet how a lot of people are saying you take certain nutritional supplements like milk thistle, vitamin B, uh, vitamin C, or even fish oil, uh, that can cure a hangover. That also is not true. It may help, but there's no scientific evidence saying, yes, that is the cure for a hangover. And finally, what I've heard a lot in college is hair of the dog. Um, hair of the dog, if for those of you who don't know, is uh, after a night of drinking, you just keep on drinking. Well, that actually will definitely not cure a hangover. It may delay the symptoms, but is not a cure. So, one of uh, some of the best ways to prevent a hangover is before you go out drinking, make sure you eat a good meal. What I have here is a nice bowl of sushi. I love sushi, uh, so that would be good. Um, also, you know, just eat something hearty, even if it's a a bowl of spaghetti. Don't eat just a bag of chips or a handful of M&Ms. That does not count as a hearty meal. So make sure you eat well before you go out drinking. Uh, once you get to the bar, uh, make sure to drink uh, water. Uh, while you're drinking, I usually say drink about a glass of water after each drink. Uh, as I mentioned before, alcohol will make you pee a lot. And it's a, You'll be dehydrated. So you want to make sure that you replace that fluid you're losing with more fluid. And finally, just make sure you pace yourself. Even if you're drinking wine, definitely beer, um, make sure you're not drinking way too much in an hour's time. They usually recommend about uh, 12 ounce, a 12 ounce uh, cup of beer, maybe eight ounce glass of wine, and if you're doing shots, do one shot an hour. Uh, that way you can still enjoy the night and hopefully, hopefully not wake up with a dreaded hangover. Well, um, that is today's Health Tips and Minutes. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and please feel free to tweet or DM me any questions on Twitter. Well, again, happy St. Patrick's Day. Please be responsible. Uh, if you do get tipsy or drunk, do not drive. Uh, you can always call a cab or a friend or someone. There's actually quite a few organizations out there that are out there that are willing to uh, drive you home after a night of drinking. Uh, so enjoy, have fun, and stay healthy, and see you next time.